Good evening, folks. We've got another engine update for you. What I'm going to cover tonight is basically where we're at and how things are progressing. We're working on the pressurization and bring the power up. But first, before I get into that, let me touch base on a couple other items to bring you up to speed. We've, been, uh, we've gotten the kinks worked out of the um, second version of kinematics. They're working well. We can adjust the phase angle and also uh, gives us a little bit more adjustability on it. One of the things we've been looking at are some of the wear issues with the engine. And here we see a picture of the the rings, one of the piston rings. And those uh, the short uh, the short marks are wear marks, the long marks we put in there. The, the short marks or wear areas are from either material uh, in the cylinder or roughness to the wall and you can see a good bit of wear here one of the things we're concerned about here is with these uh, PTFE rings is their wear characteristics um, one of the other improvements we've made is with the uh, hot box uh, we did two things we basically covered it with uh, a little bit better insulation and then a uh, that's a welding blanket over the top of it uh, kind of quilted on and then we installed a better burner for the inside of it this burner will output about uh, 100,000 BTUs, whereas the other one was about 15 to 25,000 BTUs. As we move into the pressure arena, uh, we notice we really need a little bit beefier displacer. We need to eliminate the uh, some of the lighter to lower temperature foam for some higher temperature foam, and also replace on the cold end the uh, foam with uh, a metal can. So here you can see the new model of displacer. It's basically got a can on either end and high temperature foam with a screening mesh for the regenerator. Our initial tests with it uh, appear to be quite successful. It's about two pounds lighter and it seems to be holding up a much more stable within the, uh, within the cylinder. All right, now on to uh, the pressure box. And remember, we're putting the pressure box on to increase the power output of the engine. So if I increase the air mass that's being heated, I'll increase uh, the, the power or speed coming out of the engine. <clears throat> and that's what we're attempting to do here. We've built the box around the crankcase of the engine. And you can see that box is built out of Lexan. It is uh, transparent, very strong material. And the Lexan is fused together with a polycarbonate uh, solution. And here you can see it from the back of the engine encasing everything except the flywheel and the drive, uh, the drive wheel uh, of the engine. <clears throat> The pressure box does add a weight and cost to the engine, two things we're trying to reduce, but we do feel it will be necessary to reach our uh, power output uh, goals of one kilowatt. Here's just another view of it, and you can see it does seal to the flange of the engine, and there are two gaskets in there, and it's been sealing pretty well so far. We've got some leakage around the uh, axle seals, but uh, that, will, that will clean up. Here's a short video of it running inside the box. Valves in, the negative pressure valve does not seem to be opening this one here. I am hearing the pressure valve opening there. Uh, we are getting some speed, about 67. We're at a 485 here, and a 550 at the hot end. You can hear the, the seal on the port side here is leaking. On the right side, it on here leaking. Not much gain in, uh, in speed here for these valves. This valve does not seem to be working. I can hear no air coming in from that, so we're not getting a negative. We're losing power on the negative scope. So the key to the pressure box is really is, is elevating the baseline pressure of the engine so you can increase the power output. And right now we're working with the valves and, and how to increase that pressure in a way so that it does add to the power output of the engine. Uh, we should have some further results, I would say, within a week or so and uh, hoping they'll be positive. Now, <clears throat> as far as our next steps, of course, right out the forefront is to achieve our, our power output target of one kilowatt. Uh, we want a complete uh, electronics kit for the engine. We are going to be participating in Maker Fair Detroit on July 26th and 27th. And uh, so far in our fundraising, we've done about 14K of 25K. And again, I want to thank everybody for their continued support. And we're getting close to the end of the de development phase on this engine and into the production phase. And we're looking forward to that, getting these engines out there in the field and working. Um, stay tuned to the blog site for the latest updates. We look to have a website up shortly with some of the products listed for sale. Thanks again, and we'll talk with you shortly.